Hello everyone, my name is Karina Aleman and the title of my project is Children and Teacher as Co-Researchers in the Preschool Classroom. The popularity of learning English around the world has increased exponentially and along with this the need to have children better prepared for the future in a globalizing world. The reasons for teaching English to young learners at a very early age may be many, but the most common one relies on developing their communication skills, especially during the preschool years. During the last years, there have been some major changes in the field of teaching English to young learners. One change that concerns this project refers to the approaches to teaching English to these kind of learners. Such approaches have been moving away from the traditional ones, and more updated views on how to teach young learners suggest that children can take more active roles in classroom studies and that they are capable of influencing the direction of the research, according to Pinter 2017. I work in a private preschool in the state of Veracruz and the group where this project was carried out was the Prefers group, which is an extra school year that some private institutions offer to children who have finished the three school years of preschool and are about to enter the elementary school. The objective of this school year is to help children develop their speaking and writing skills in both English and Spanish. There were 10 children between 6 and 7 years old who took English classes every day. In total, 7.5 hours a week. They were in contact with the language during the previous two years and they usually traveled abroad two or three times a year. During the previous two school years, these children learned the basic vocabulary regarding topics like greetings, colors, family, shapes, and numbers. In my school, we don't have a syllabus for our English classes. We are asked to follow the book contents. After keeping a journal of what was happening in class, it was observed that the book was above the learner's level and it, that it mainly focused on teaching vocabulary. The class had turned into a vocabulary list teaching and learning, and most of the times the oral production was limited to the repetition of isolated words. So learners lacked interaction and participation in class. Having found a problem, the research question that emerged was, how can involving young learners as active participants and decision makers contribute to their engagement in the development of three topic projects? I will now give the background that supports this study. First, a young learner is, according to the United Nations, any person under 18 years old. However, this view is a generic term that encompasses a wide range of learners. For the purposes of this study, a young learner will be identified as a child in his first year of formal schooling between 5 and 7 years old. Through the sociocultural theory of learning, Vygotsky pointed out that the social environment, the cultural context, and the influence of people around the child, such as peers, teachers, parents, they are considered important sources of learning. Bandura, on the other hand, stated that children observe adults and fictional characters with close attention and imitate their behavior. For the purposes of this project, the kind of engagement that was observed was behavioral, which refers to the behaviors that are associated with the student's efforts towards learning and the learning process, such as participation. The teacher can consider some relevant aspects regarding children's behavioral engagement, aspects such as children taking part in class activities, children discussing the stages of a task or an activity, or their persistence during the development of the activities. Stage role plays are a spontaneous, dramatic, and creative teaching strategy in which children assume the role of others. It has three stages, briefing, acting, and debriefing. During the first stage, that is briefing, participants are introduced to the activity. 
During the second stage, acting where participants are encouraged to act out the dialogues. And during the last stage, debriefing, the participants discuss, analyze, and evaluate their role plays. They share their insights. The fundamental stage of this process is the moment in which the teacher provides learners with a space for sharing their experiences in the activity and children reflect on their performance. The underlying principle of this project is children as researchers. During the last decades, the involvement of children in the field of research has evolved significantly. That means that children are now playing an important role when teaching and learning the language. Recent studies, like the ones carried out by Kellett in 2005 and Alderson in 2008, have shown that children can become collaborators. There are four different forms of research with children. These four forms of research involve children at different degrees. This study seeks to explore the form research with children. In this kind of research, children have some control and responsibility when deciding what to learn about and how to show it to their peers. Children's participation was evident during the implementation of focus groups. The nature of this project is action research. Action research is a reflection of the individual's teaching practice with the intention of making informed changes in his or her practice according to Ferenc 2000. These are the phases that were followed during the implementation of the project adapted from Chemist and Magdegard 1988. The four phases are planning, action, observation and reflection. The methods that were used to collect data for the principal research with children were focus groups, role plays, and the language portfolio. The focus groups were known by the children as circle time. This data collect method was carried out in Spanish. In these meetings, children socialized and negotiated to decide the project topics and their role. Focus groups were a form to give children the opportunity to share their opinions in group and help them feel more confident when talking to the teacher and their peers in shorter periods of time compared to the individual interviews. The role plays were a form in which the children act out the dialogues in three specific contexts that were the topics that the children chose and the language portfolio, which is defined as a gathering of samples of children's work during a period of time, was used here as an adaptation of the Common European Framework and it consisted of three sections, the password, the biography and the dossier. Each sample of work included there represented part of their work that they had done themselves in each topic to perform the role play in which they participated. The methodology followed was organized in four stages, where focus groups were key to obtain data in a systematic way. First, the children were introduced to the research and invited to participate in it. They were also informed and explained the importance of their participation and honesty of their opinions. The second stage, the teacher asked specific questions to learn about the children's areas of interest. For example, playful learning activities, places they like, or their hobbies. And the third and the fourth stages focused on allowing children to have some control on what they desired to learn, how they wanted to perform it in class, and how they had felt at different stages of the development. Here are the three specific contexts or topics chosen by the children. Each topic lasted two weeks. The first two were chosen by the children and the last one was chosen by the teacher in order to compare their performances and self-assessment. First, another teacher was invited to observe what was happening in the class before the implementation. Then the children were invited and they were introduced to the project. They chose the topics and after that, the learners personalized their portfolios. The teacher and the students carried out the second focus group in which they chose their roles and who they wanted to work with. 
children practice their dialogue through different techniques and later they self-assessed by coloring faces in their portfolios. After that, children perform their role plays in a scenario made by themselves. And finally, the teacher and the children carried out the third focus group in which they reflected on this experience and pasted a sample of their work in their language portfolio. The data analysis. The data was collected through these methods, language portfolio, focus groups, and video recordings. They help the teacher researcher to triangulate the data to find answers to the research question. All the data collected in the focus group was transcribed and analyzed using content analysis to identify the patterns and categories that could answer the research question to some degree. The quantitative and qualitative data in the findings was organized by the methods used. First, we will see the data collected through the focus groups. During the focus groups, the behavioral and emotional engagement was evident in different aspects. Here are some of the children's comments. First, children's behavioral engagement was associated to their values with peers. Referring to this, one student mentioned, friendship, I'm going to talk a lot with my peers and we have to respect each other. In regards to the engagement with the project, another student mentioned, I know how to mix different colors with paint if we need colors for painting the scenarios. And referring to the engagement with peers, one student mentioned, I love it and I liked everything, but sometimes my peers don't speak and I have to remind them of what they should say. They don't learn their dialogues. The second kind of behaviors that were associated to their engagement was emotional, emotional engagement. This kind of engagement was evident in these aspects. First, nervousness and shame. In regards to this, one student said, I think I need to continue practicing my dialogues because I don't know it really well. And I feel nervous when the teacher is video recording us. The second was feeling of being listened with comments like this. In circle time meetings, we can share our feelings and the teacher takes us into account in the project. Their active participation and decision making was evident when they voted on the topics and they chose their peers. In regards to this first aspect, they made these kind of comments. I would like to choose the topics of our projects. I didn't like the topic you chose, referring to the topic that the teacher had chosen. Another comment was, I prefer that the teacher chooses who I work with. The second aspect that was considered was choice of peers, in which they made these kinds of comments. I like to choose my partner because I can choose a person that does what I don't know how to do well. Another comment from a student was, I like to choose my peer because I can choose a friend that works well. Other friends talk a lot and they distract me, and that's something that I don't like. Now, talking about the data collected from the language portfolio, we can see that the self-assessment on the role-play performance had a difference comparing the beginning and the end by the third topic. During the first topic project, we could see that 20% of the students felt uncomfortable. However, by the third topic, none of them felt uncomfortable, although they didn't make any decisions. Conclusions. It could be observed that involving children as co-researchers could engage them actively when deciding defining, elaborating, and performing their roles. Making children aware of the value of their participation and opinions help them feel more interested in taking part of the project. They could recognize respect, friendship, and rules of behavior as values that they could learn from each other when working as a group during the project. Some factors that could have influenced their level of involvement were the degree of responsibility during the activities, 
the time they spent on the elaboration of the scenario and the time they had to practice their dialogues and their peers they were with. In regards to this, Chapman, 2003, argued that behavioral engagement is manifested by active responses to learning tasks presented, such as participation in discussions with peers and teachers, making relevant questions, and sharing their opinions on agreement and disagreement. Regarding the voting of the topics and the comments in focus groups, the data show that the percent of participants who felt uncomfortable when voting increased. They mentioned they disliked not being taken into consideration for the election of the third topic, which was decided only by the teacher. However, a good number of comments also showed that they preferred an adult to make those kinds of decisions for them. The findings suggest that learners of this age might need more guidance when carrying out research projects. It also appears that not all of the participants want to assume the whole responsibility, and some of them prefer to have a guide or a facilitator. Some of the limitations that the teacher and the children had were their attendance and the time to create the scenarios and to practice the role play, which were short and may have influenced their performance. For further research, the teacher researcher could focus on the level of children's learning autonomy once they have practiced their dialogues through a variety of techniques and for older learners to systematize the stages for selecting the topic. Here are some of my references. Thank you for listening, and if you would like more information or have questions, please feel free to contact me.